In this video tutorial, we will be showcasing how to install WordPress and BPS using Server Pilot services. On your BPS dashboard, create and deploy a new server. Doing so in Vulture is pretty easy. Select your server location with nearest to your target audience, server type, OS. We are taking Ubuntu LTS here. Uh, then select your server size, additional features like IPv6 capabilities, plus auto backup feature, and then deploy. That's all. You should now have a completely running BPS machine. You will see list of BPS machines on your server's dashboard now. Are you ready to roll out system on your BPS? Open server pilot now. You will soon install server pilot that works perfectly like a control panel for your BPS and system being installed. Click connect server and supply your BPS details including server IP, root password and internet SFTP password that serves other than for root. Lot of things will happen in the background. Initially the essential server pilot agent is installed. Server Pilot now installs latest version of Apache Web Server, .sd access and module write modules are also installed. The best thing is Nginx Web Server is also installed. In Nginx serves as a scalable reverse proxy for the system. Next, MySQL database server is installed with MySQL is configured for use primarily with the WordPress. Installing Postfix mail transfer agent in case you need it or so that apps can send email with automatic configuration. Apart from the root access, our pilot automatically creates another SSH or SFTP user account for your purpose. Latest version of PSP is installed with backward compatibility. Couple of other stuffs are to configure the server as well. Testing the server configuration and there we go, the server is ready to use for installing WordPress or any other system you want. Now we need to install WordPress, create app and then supply the essential WordPress configuration stuff. WordPress is now installed, you can open the server IP in the browser to check what you are doing or how it opens. You can also change the base version of PSP if you need to change it. Explore through app menu items like stats, logs, databases, domains, SSL and so on. Interestingly, you can also see the database name, username, just in case you need to change it or even delete the database entirely. You can either supply your domain name during creating WordPress app or do it from add domain now or later. Should you like, you can also offer coach or business version of the server pilot account for the additional features you want. Open the app IP that is WordPress IP or URL and you should now see the WordPress site up and running. You should notice how fast the site opens.
now the WordPress is set up and running there is also MySQL database running but how to access the database let's install PHP my admin to install to access the database easily the complete step-by-step -step procedure is explained at the server pilot community web page plus we'll showcase the same here open the console from the server desk or you can open uh, the console using Bitwise or choice of your software to access the VPS Let's suppose that you have already downloaded the latest version of PSP My Admin from the official website. In this entire process of installing WordPress in VPS machine, Installing PSP my admin one of the most tedious tasks as many would say There are basically only three steps first download the latest version of PSP my admin and then Upload the compressed file to the app location the correct app location is a slash SRV users server pilot slash apps inside the apps folder you will see wordpress as the default directory if you have not renamed it and then uncompress the file you just uploaded that's the PSP my admins uh, compressed file uncompress it and then edit config.sample.inc.psv file search for bluefish underscore secret and then include the string for the unique string you can go to random.org and just copy paste the uh, string for string value for bluefish underscore secret and then finally rename this file from config.sample.inc.psp to config.inc.psp save it and that's all this is step step one and two downloading the latest version of PSP my admin and then uncompressing can be done directly via terminal so there's no need to download and then upload again uh, from your uh, third party sftp or sss tool these steps are shown here